Okay, so in this video, we'll look at a patient and attendant attachments for a litter and the inline orientation in less than vertical terrain. Um, keys here are that uh, all attendants and the patient have redundant connections, and also that all the attendants have functional connections that help them weight the rope system. Uh, beyond that, lots of ways to do this. This is just kind of the standard scalable way that we have come to. So the first thing we'll look at here is the patient's attachment, which starts with the litter bridle. So we've got the litter bridle here, which is that green material, and it is clipped into the interlocking bowlins, the master point there, the two loops. And then that bridle is pre-tied and attached to the litter. Then we have our patient there, Ms. Bajani, who's connected to the litter with that X that we've used before, two percels, one high on the belay loop, one low on the belay loop counterimposing each other and done up snug and then also we've got the straps on the litter done up and johnny's secondary connection is in the into the end of the tail of one of the bowlins either or it doesn't matter which we've got a set up here for four attendants in this or in this situation and we've got two standing at about the patient's sternum and then two standing at give or take the patient's calf ankle area so let's go closer in and look at the two at the sternum. They will each end up with three separate connections. The first one there is a Purcell that's clipped into the interlocking bowlins. We like to run that Purcell underneath that top rail, head rail of the litter. It helps keep the head of the litter up rather than dragging in the, on the slope. Uh, the secondary kind of backup connection for that attendant will be a Prusik, could be a Purcell too if you need the length into the tail of one of the ropes again either or whichever is most logistically sense uh, then we will have a third connection which is this very short pressing loop that we've girth hitched onto the head rail top rail of the litter and then if there are any amount of length at all we'll tie a shelf in them in order to shorten that way up so you're clipped within an inch or two of the rail of the litter this we call a tertiary connection. We can come in and out of it as needed. Generally, as we set the litter down for any amount of time, we'll want to come out of it because it holds you awkwardly close to the ground and the patient. Uh, but clipping into it before we lift the litter and lower or raise the package down or up the slope will really help transfer a bunch of the weight onto the harness and help us lean back into that system. Having those three connections allows us to come in and out of that tertiary as needed while still having redundant safe connections of the rope system. The attendant opposite of the one I just showed you, uh, same height on the patient, a sternum height attendant has the same three connections, for sale, for sale through the litter to the inalking bowlins, a prussic on a tail of a, one of the ropes. In this case, we chose the pinching rope that seemed to work a little better, cleaner, and then a short tertiary loop girthed onto the rail of the basket. Then we can move back down and look at the connections for the two lower attendants. The attendants will stand at calf to ankle height. And their primary connection will be, again, a Purcell, and it'll be girth hitched onto the railing of the litter. And it should be girth hitched high enough up on the patient, usually closer to knees or thighs, so that the attendant can lean back and weight the rope system with that. Uh, their secondary connection will again be a Prusik, could be a Purcell if you like, onto the tail of one of the ropes, and then a tertiary connection, which is the same setup as before, with a very short shelf loop tied into the basket there. It pays in the long run to pay attention to where you attach all those Prusiks and Purcells to the basket, using the upright rails, the stanchions to hold them in the place where you can lean back on them without them sliding back to an unusable location. The other side, calf height attendant will have the same setup with a Purcell to the litter, a tertiary to the litter. Their secondary backup connection will just be the tail of the rope. One of those two calf height attendants can get the tail and 